Hey gang, welcome back. So I've looked on YouTube and other places to see some good instructions on hanging a pocket door and it always shows the frame, which is pretty standard as long as everything is plumb and level and the rough opening is framed correctly. Uh, that's pretty standard stuff. What I've failed to see and failed to find, frankly, is uh, how exactly to hang the door and adjust the door. And so uh, for the next few minutes, I'm going to try to share with you some stuff that, frankly, I think is missing from a lot of videos out there. Uh, what I have here is the door slab. Uh, it's a 30-inch door. Uh, the hardware there, it's just pre-drilling, mounting it. Uh, they say just roughly two inches from either side, which I'm doing just a couple of screws, and I'm just using a little... Uh, basically a little cabinet bit there that's tapered uh, just because that was the quickest thing uh, that I could get my hands on. So uh, this isn't rocket science by any stretch, uh, but it works and uh, I think the, the main work is uh, getting the door hung and, and plumb. Uh, one thing that you're going to see that I made the great mistake of is I got carried away in building this cabin and I went ahead and trimmed everything out before I inserted the slab. So. You're going to see that. Uh, you're going to see that I've actually had to remove some of the trim uh, to get this door hung. Uh, but I think some of these are going to be some pretty good tips that you guys can use to, uh, to hang your own. So with that, stay tuned and see what happens. So as you'll see here, uh, getting this slab hung uh, on the rollers there with the trim still intact is a no-go. I didn't know this at the time, uh, needed a little bit more room. So as you're about to see, um, actually had to remove the face frame to make this work out. Lesson of the day, no matter how good you think you are, don't insert the face trim before you insert the door. I got carried away getting the trim done throughout the cabin and thought, let's go ahead and knock this out. I'll just slip this door on the rollers. Didn't work out. I actually needed this access and the, uh, the face board here actually came down a good half inch below this and I needed every bit of that. The other thing that's uh, really neat, I normally am not one for tools that come with stuff. This, you know, overseas stuff that is just flimsy. It's meant to be used one time. It's generally thought up and made by people who have no idea what is actually needed. Um, I tell you, this little offset wrench that comes to adjust these is the way to go. It allows you to get up in there and to work uh, on a little nut there that'll help adjust. I uh, don't know how good you can see it, but we're about an eighth off down here, an eighth gap to nothing. So what I'm gonna do is actually raise this side of the door and that should zero it out top and bottom. Uh, I'm OCD about that sort of stuff. So if I need to, I'll burn a half a day, making sure that something sits perfectly uh, that maybe others wouldn't care about. I have also seen the other extreme and that if they don't leave a gap, uh, I've seen some folks just come back and put a little trim piece here to hide it like you would a walkthrough door, almost like a stop. Uh, I'm really not into that either. I like this sleek, flush look. So, uh, yeah, I want to give this a shot and try to get this thing flush. So here's a cool little trick. Uh, as I mentioned, this door goes about 3 8 of an inch too deep into that pocket. So I just take two shims, uh, put them in opposite directions so they make more of a square uh, instead of a, just a huge wedge. And I move them apart until at the thickest part it becomes three eighths of an inch. And then I'm just gonna simply brad nail that onto the back of the door. Um, and that gets to me the three eighths that I need to keep it from hitting the back of the pocket. You know, it's never a good sign when you're doing woodworking and you see the pry bar and the vice grips come out, but hey, it happens. I made a mistake, got ahead of myself and paid the price, learned some things, 
And so as long as I was uh, gentle here and taking care of this trim, I could pull the nails that had pulled through when I removed it and get it back up as soon as I got this door hung. So I really didn't want to take down that piece of unstained wood there you see above my finger. Uh, doing so would have allowed me just to easily reach up in there with a screwdriver or my finger and close the little clamp uh, that's attached to the door around the little uh, uh, basically bolt looking thing that comes out of the rollers. Uh, but again, trying to get this done, figure out a way to get those to clamp on without having to take down yet another piece of trim uh, as this one took a little bit of leveling. and tight work and scant knuckles for sure. I hope this video has been helpful and you've been able to learn from some of my mistakes. I enjoy building with you. I hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you've learned something. Would appreciate you subscribing to the channel and liking this video and sharing it with your friends if you think it's something they could benefit from. I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Until then, have fun and get after it.